Hello and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. Today I've got some Monday motivation for you and this video is packed with so much stuff. I've got some cleaning, a DIY project, building a shelf for the playroom, a little bit of haul here. I just got back from Target and I started putting things away and figured I'd pull out the camera and get things started off here. So just showed you the little snowman chalkboards. I got my nephews at the Target dollar spot, and then I also picked up these pens. They are erasable, and I'm loving that. And just gonna get all of this stuff cleared and put away, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff when we get upstairs. But for now, I'm going to do a real quick clean on the main level. And I had so much I put into this video. It is actually several days worth of work. And a lot of my focus is on the upstairs playroom area. So stick around and see how all that turns out. I want to give you a million things because it's love what it's all about. And how to make you smile again Something that I want to figure out I want to catch I want to catch you like every time that you fall I want to give you the world The world that is outside your walls If I was God, I would save you Take you where you belonged If I could, I would get Something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some, someone like you, someone like you I know typically I have a sink full of dishes when I film these videos, but I usually do the dishes first thing in the morning while the kids are eating breakfast. But on the days that I know I'm filming, I'll usually just kind of put it off to include in the videos. But I knew I had a lot I was packing into this video, so I was just going to share the little quick tidy that I had to the kitchen and living room. I know normally when you guys are seeing me clean, it's quite messy, but it is not always like that, but it definitely is not always clean either. When you see these cleaning videos, you are seeing the five seconds that I get my after shot before everyone comes back in the room and the space looks real lived in again. I do make efforts throughout the day every day to just sort of maintain a tidiness and then I have two sort of main cleaning days where I actually get in and like mop floors and dust and clean the bathrooms and stuff like that but this is a very lived in home and it looks like that most of the time so here I am kind of sorting through all these shoes that have happened to pile up down here my mom had gotten Jillian a whole bunch of little cute boots and dress up shoes and somehow they all wound up down here so I'm tossing them in a bag to bring upstairs and she thought I was putting them in a bag to donate so she was coming to making sure to intervene before that happened so now I'm gonna go ahead and run and get the mail with the kids go for a little bit of a walk and now just kind of sort through that so that I can get some Christmas cards out to hang up around this mirror where we do every year So this is the point in the day where I put all the ornaments back up on the tree with two dogs and two cats and two little kids. All these ornaments fall off on the daily. So every day I just kind of try to retrieve all the ornaments that roll all over the floor and get them back up there and just kind of straightening up in here a little bit and watering the tree because we do have a live tree. And now I am upstairs and working on that laundry because every day is laundry day. I wanna catch, I wanna catch you like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world, the world that is outside your wall If I was God, I would save you, take you where you belonged If I could, I would get something new, something new while I was at Target, I got myself a new cozy white knit sweater blanket, and I also got the kids two little fleece blankets to go on their bed with the Christmas trees on it to match the Christmas tree sheets that I got them. 
I know I shared them over on Instagram, but I don't think I shared them on this channel yet, but we'll be heading over to their rooms in a little bit and I'll show you the sheets with these blankets once I get these all washed up and ready to go on their beds. And we also picked up a couple little tiny trees from Walmart for their room. So we're gonna decorate those as well. I ordered the dogs some little sweaters like we do every single winter, but when I opened them up, they were so tiny, even though I ordered the XL because we have very big dogs. But then when I pulled up the description to submit the return it said not for large dogs so apparently it's an XL for little dogs and here I'm unboxing something I was so excited to order. This is the Lolly Co. Shampoo and Conditioner. This is Caitlin Nyer on YouTube's brand. So I was really excited to try this out. It fits all our criteria being like gentle, synthetic fragrance free, all that stuff. So I'm going to tuck that away so that I can give that to Jillian for Christmas. And then here's some of the other stuff that we got from Target. I found these little sponges. I love the small shape and it's got like some scrubby texture on the back that I've never tried. So excited to try those I got those to keep upstairs to clean the bathrooms with and I got myself a new scrub brush for the shower with a matching little grout brush to get into those corners a little bit better these were only three dollars each so a good price for what they are and then I got the kids some toothbrushes and some root touch-up spray because I am definitely ready to get my hair appointment done but I'm gonna be putting that off until after all of the holidays and I would have what it takes to make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some, someone like you, someone like you All right, so this is gonna be where my main focus is for this video. You saw this summer we added this wall and divided this large room into two spaces, but we haven't quite really done anything with those spaces yet. This area I know is gonna be the kids' playroom and it desperately needs some shelving to put all those toys on and then just giving you a little glimpse of the rooms kind of are still just not really pulled together how I want them yet. We just moved Jillian over into this bedroom and she just sort of set the space up how she wanted it. And I definitely want to run with that, but I do want to pull the rooms together and make them feel a little bit more finished off. But we are taking our time and just sort of chipping away at that. But I will share some of the progress I made later on in this video when I go to put those blankets on. But right now I'm back in the laundry room again because I splattered blueberry smoothie all over the front of my shirt. And I want to go ahead and get this treated and put in the wash immediately. I had just had a package delivered and this is the new dog bed. It is the same one we had here before and I know I shared on Instagram but I'm not sure if I shared here yet that Luna actually we found out this summer that she has epilepsy so she ended up having several seizures on this bed and ended up ripping the fabric so I went ahead and ordered a new one and she is a little hesitant to get on the new one so she's sticking to that old one for now but they have since broke it in and nice and comfortable and we are now on to the next day i just filled up the tank with gas from costco and now we are at the free vacuums at the car wash i am not going to be running the car through the car wash but i do like to go there every week and vacuum it out and as you see we really need a good vacuum on this day because we had just bought our live christmas tree and there was christmas tree all over the inside of the car <laughs> Someone like you She 
This Dodge Caravan Stow and Go, these seats actually go flat into the floor. So we have this big open space back here and it normally takes me literally like three seconds to get these seats down. But for some reason I couldn't find the strap that gets it down. So I was checking the other seat, trying to figure out where that strap's supposed to be. And turns out the kids had shoved the strap into its hole. So I had to go get a pocket knife that I keep in my glove box and fish it out of there so that I could pull that strap and get the seat seat folded down so we will normally keep this all down and flat like this and then I just throw like a big blanket back here and we just keep an open space so the kids can hang out in there on days where we're out hanging out in the car waiting for like appointments and things and I have plenty of space to like keep my stroller or the bikes when we go to the park or the groceries so I love having this big open space back here but whenever we do have my husband in the car and Jameson in the car also I need to pull up that third row seat so now just using a little of my hand sanitizer like I normally do to wipe down the steering wheel and dashboard and stuff. And now we are back from running to Home Depot to get all the wood. And I also had to swing into PetSmart because we needed fish food, a, another harness for the dogs, and their winter sweaters. I did not end up getting the sweaters on them in this video, but I will be sharing that picture over on Instagram. So do come follow me over there to check that out. I always keep my link right there in the the description box below so there was my little diagram for how I wanted the wood cut at Home Depot giving the kids a little quick lunch of Uncrustables because I had a lot I was getting done on this day so it took me quite a while to get all my measurements made for the dimensions of my shelf but then I had to go to Home Depot and figure out what the size of the wood was and do all the math while I was there and I just had them do they do free cuts there so if you ever need the wood cut you just ask somebody that works there in the wood section and they'll cut the wood down to size but I wanted them to just do the big cuts so I could fit it in the van and the small cuts I would just do here at home because I had a lot of cuts to do. So now I'm just going to haul all of this wood out and get it all ready to start building these shelves. I have been wanting to create a Montessori style playroom for them up in that loft area and I've had my eye on Pinterest inspiration of these big Montessori shelves to keep all of their toys on. So it's super simple. It's literally just putting these planks of wood together in the shape of a shelf. So I knew this was something I could definitely do myself. Here is the little diagram I sketched up. I just took measurements of the wall I wanted there and kind of got a rough idea of how tall I wanted it to be, how wide I wanted it to be, how many shelves I wanted on there. And then, like I said, I took those dimensions to Home Depot and then did the math to figure out how to get the most wood out of the planks of boards they had there. So I got, ended up getting two large planks of pine wood that was about $50 each. So the whole project ended up being about $100. And in order to accomplish this project, I wanted to make sure the kids were nice and occupied. So I picked up this little Santa's workshop at Target and I'm getting that assembled real quick so they can just play with this over there out of the way so that they are nice and occupied while I make all these cuts and get the sanding done.
So now that the kids have been fed and are being occupied, I am measuring out my dimensions and marking my lines for cuts and just making these cuts real quick with the saw. And I do have some saw horses in one of the cabinets somewhere, but I just wanted to get to this real quick and not make a big fuss. So I ended up just propping it up on some boards, which was easy enough. And this wood I chose was actually very good quality, so it doesn't need a whole lot of sanding. I'm just going to sand up the edges to make sure that there's nothing rough where the kids are going to be touching. And I'm not even going to be staining this or even putting any kind of like polyurethane sealant or anything on it. I just want to leave it fresh and natural and make it a super simple project. At this point, the kids were getting a little bit restless. They were kind of tired of the playhouse and wanting to come over and see what I was doing. So it was definitely hard to be keeping them back, obviously, in a safe distance and was kind of starting to feel a little overwhelmed with everything going on here. I wanted to hurry up and get the sanding done. As you see here, I plugged in the sander and it was switched on. So it just started spinning, kind of startled me. So getting that switched off and plugging that in. This reel up extension cord was something on my husband's wish list years ago that he had gotten and I absolutely love this thing. You plug the extension cord into your outlet and then you just reel out the whole thing over to where you're working and then it's got several outlets on there and then you can just reel it back up and put it away. Love that thing. If you're wanting some kind of a Christmas idea, something like that is a good one and i will try to update my like amazon shop and link a bunch of this stuff in there i know that we're all kind of looking for ideas this time of year and as you can see i had handed the kids the little bit of soda that was remaining in that two liter bottle because at this point i am just trying to get the last little bit done and i am doing whatever it takes to just keep them occupied for a little bit longer so now we are inside all the wood is ready i just have it sitting there while i get the kids dinner started and on this night just making some box macaroni and cheese some canned peas and some jar of applesauce out of the fridge keeping it super simple because I have this whole shelf I'm still trying to assemble, but I do want to touch on these dishes, get the dishwasher unloaded, reload it up, and just a quick tidy up of the kitchen because a lot of times when I'm working on projects like this, I just sort of let everything else slide, and then by the time I'm done with the project, the house is a disaster. So I was trying to not let that happen and keep up on things while I was at it. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for
I had plans to build two shelves, one smaller bookshelf and then the larger toy shelf. I want to just go ahead and start off with the smaller bookshelf so I could kind of get the hang of it before a doing the big one. So it was actually so simple, simple enough. You just put the screws in there and screw the planks together. So once all the measurements were made and the cuts were made, it was literally just that, just screwing the pieces of wood together. I achieved the function I was wanting, the appearance I was wanting. It was so simple to make. This thing is so solid and I am so pleased with how it turned out. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring at the pavement. God knows who hurts. Even though this one was so much bigger, it was just as simple to make and I am so pleased with how it turned out. It is exactly what I was wanting. 
and now it is time to bring the toys back in and get the shelves all set up and normally I absolutely love this part but I was so worn out at this point I just sort of brought the toys in the best I could and let the kids arrange the shelves but the next morning I came in here and kind of touched it up a bit so here is the after I am so pleased it is exactly how I was wanting it all the toys displayed there so it's easy for them to approach and interact with and also very easy for them to put away themselves a lot of these toys we have actually gotten from the play kits from love every and I absolutely love that company and the Montessori style play toys that they have that are geared to the developmental age of your children so I always keep that love every link in my description box below if you want to check them out I think it is so beautiful how all of these natural wood toys go so well with these natural wood shelves. And now moving on to the kids' rooms, we're gonna go ahead and get their tiny trees decorated. We did that off camera and I just shared it with a little YouTube magic. And I also got the rooms tidied up and dusted and vacuumed. And now that the blankets have been washed, I'm gonna go ahead and add those onto the beds. And you can see how cute these are with those sheets. And these are all from Target. The blankets are only like $9.99 and they are so super soft. And I wasn't planning on getting any new holiday decor this year, but these just kept catching my eye and I thought it'd be so fun to have these for the kids and they have really been enjoying their cozy Christmas beds so much. I took a bit of time and worked on Jillian's room some, did a little rearranging and some organizing, and we did end up finding that rug at Target, and it's perfect because it's something I can just throw right into the washing machine. So now we're going to go ahead and decorate her tiny tree with a little YouTube magic, and she did this one herself, and there's still so much I still want to do to her room, but we are just slowly letting it unfold, and I'm kind of letting her take the lead and pick things that she really likes, and I love the way her style is turning out in here I still want to do something here above the dresser we're still planning that out I did end up moving her little tassel banner over to this room and it goes so nicely with her little rainbow hanger there and I like the toy set up over here by the closet it's so much better I love the colors that she's choosing for this room and we found this little picture at Goodwill and it goes so perfectly with the vibe she's trying to create in here she loves that picture and I am just gonna keep sharing all the progress with you as we go now for Jackson's room, he's just kind of been left with what is remaining in this space and it really isn't his style necessarily, but we're still trying to figure out what direction we want to take in this room now that it is his alone. So that will be kind of happening over time as well. So now I'm taking this old TV that was from the living room. I know if you've been here for a while, you remember that we ended up having to replace our living room TV because Jackson hit the screen with a roll of wrapping paper and broke it. So there was lines across the screen and I figured it wasn't so damaged that the kids couldn't use it so we we're gonna go ahead and install this here in the playroom but by the time we got the whole thing hung up and mounted the whole screen was bad and you couldn't really make out anything on it anymore anyways so that is trash but the mount will work for whatever TV I do end up ordering for in here eventually but it's all just unfolding over time so now I've got all this laundry that I moved over here into this new room this is the new room that we had built the wall in this den area upstairs and so far it's kind of just unfolding as my yoga room slash my private office where I like to just kind of sit on the floor and be comfortable in here anyways while I do these voiceovers and work on these videos I am loving this space it has been life-changing for me so just tidying that up and this room will be unfolding over time as well so do make sure you are subscribed to my channel because we've got a lot of progress happening in these spaces so now this is another day and I have all this laundry to fold my kids are talking to their cousins on FaceTime and I am just gonna get this laundry folded up while I hang out close by to help out as needed if you've made it all the way here to the end, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate it so much when you all watch my videos and especially stick around all the way through. It means the world to me. I put a lot of time and effort into making these and it makes me so happy that you all enjoy them so much and that you take time out of your day to leave me comments, to let me know that. And I just want to say how much I appreciate you. So
This guy. 